Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is going to be part two of, uh, of hooking up this, uh, this breaker box to my off-grid system. First I want to talk about uh, my inverter. It's, uh, you know, it's a 3000 watt uh, pure sine wave inverter from uh, Reliable Electric. Um, and when I went to go look at it, it does have hard wire connections right here. But as you can see, there's a black, a yellow, and a red. Now you would think that the black is uh, the live or the hot, uh, and then yellow and red, I mean, who knows? I looked it up online and I found the PDF. And what I found out is, uh, if you look at number five, it says a wire terminal for AC output, red line is live, so that's the hot line. Black line is the neutral line, so that would be uh, like your white on a regular AC. And then the yellow line is the ground. But what else I found out about this inverter is that it is not, I, I'm not really sure what it's called. Is it called a bonded neutral? Please tell me in the comments if I'm wrong about this. But I think there's bonded neutral and floating neutral. So what we have is, uh, you, you can see it's turned off, so I'm safe to take this off. But what we have is we actually have, uh, we said the red, the red is, is hot, the yellow is ground, and the black is neutral. If you, measure, if you measure these voltages, the red puts out 60 volts, the black puts out 60 volts, and the yellow is ground, so it doesn't put out anything. So if you, if you take a multimeter and you, and you put, uh, if you connect the red and the yellow, you'll get 60 volts, and then if you connect the black and the yellow, you'll get 60 volts. So it's basically, it's not 120 volts from the live, it's 60 volts from the live, 60 volts from the neutral, and then zero from the ground. So with that being said, uh, I, you know, I am not an electrician. And messing with AC, uh, I'd rather not do it, but I feel like this is the, the next step that I need to do. I really hope that documentation is correct when I wire up this AC panel because if I wire up the hot to the neutral ground, to the neutral bar in the AC, in the AC breaker box, uh, and then I turn everything on and I plug stuff in, I mean, uh, I, I might have reverse polarity, I might blow up my inverter. I'm gonna go with that documentation though. So here we go. So the first thing I feel like I need to do is I need to punch out the hole on the side of the, on the side of the breaker box to be able to feed the wire in through. And I got a wire clamp for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab it and see what size of punch out I need to do. I keep saying punch outs, uh, they're actually called knockouts. I don't wanna get that wrong. Uh, but the knockout that I chose, I chose a three quarter inch knockout because on the back it does say um, oval service entrance cable eight to three or six to three round service interest cable. And I have six gauge, I have three wires of six gauge, even though they're not all in one cable, I'm hoping that this three quarter inch cable connector uh, still works. All right, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna punch this one out right here. Or should I say knock that one out? I don't know. All right, and I believe all I have to do is just kind of whack this and it should just kind of pop out. Okay, that's not working. Should I go from the inside? You wouldn't think you'd go from the inside. That'd be ridiculous. Okay. I mean, do you go from the inside? Huh. 
Well, apparently the inside was much easier. I don't know if that's right, but uh, it popped out a lot easier. Okay, and then this thing just goes, you unscrew this. You put this right in here. Uh, oh, I need to take out this whole thing. Okay. Okay. Okay, this thing comes out pretty easy. And I guess you just kind of grab it, kind of wiggle it around a little bit. I hope you can see this, but what I'm doing is just bending this, just kind of getting this thing off. Actually, I can just kind of rock it back and forth. There we go. So it pops out. There. And I don't really have to worry about there being sharp edges because that's what this clamp is for. All right, so I'm gonna put it right here. And I wanna make it so the screws are facing out so I can easily screw it in and out. All right, and I'm just gonna hand tighten it. I don't think you need to tighten it any more than hand tighten. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, grab my wire and uh, measure it out, cut it, strip it, and uh, go ahead and connect it up. All right, the two tools that I have uh, for stripping wire, they only go down uh, to 10 gauge wire. So I'm kind of out of luck with that. So I guess I'm going to have to go with my uh, my Klein Tools thick wire cutter to strip this wire. So I am actually going to do, I'm going to do the ground, I'm going to do the ground first. And again, my inverter is turned off, so everything is safe. And there is not much room here. Am I gonna have to go all the way up and around? Oh, Jesus. Well, something like that. I think that's really all I need. So how about I screw it in and then try to work with it? Okay. Now I'm guessing you don't want to like wrench it down, but you want to make it so the wire won't come out if you pull on it hard. So it's not coming out. Go up like that. I think I can do that. I'm gonna try because I don't want to. I don't want to run it all the way around. I think it's a better idea if I um, if I go ahead and wire up the panel first, and then I screw this down. That way, everything, all the wires in the panel won't move around while I'm trying to do everything else. So how about I do that? White wire is gonna be my neutral. Okay. That guy's not going anywhere. And this guy I'm gonna leave a little bit. Just so I have some wiggle room. All right, and then my last one is gonna be my hot, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have it on a a uh, double pole breaker. So I'm going to get that breaker. I'm going to cut a little bit of this off and I'm going to loop it around so it will it will energize both of these bars. So that way I can use all of the slots. Yeah, man, it's going to be tight. It's going to be super tight, man. Okay. All right, well, this isn't working. I cannot fit both of these wires in here. So what I'm going to end up doing, I'm not going to join it at the circuit breaker. I'm going to join these two lugs right here. 
So what my plan is now is I'm going to have a single wire and it's going into a double pole for now. I might swap it out with a 30 amp single pole. But go ahead and put this double pole in here. And then what I'll do is loosen these guys. Okay, what I understand from this is that this hot will energize this bar right here and then it's, the current's going to go through here onto this bar. So all these bars will be energized. Alright, well this is all connected. So let's go ahead and move down to the inverter. And I know you want to tighten them, but you don't want to pinch the wires. Okay, I think that's good. All right, now let's see if these wires actually will fit in here. Uh, I do not want to have to get an eyelet. Because I don't think I have any. Seriously? What kind of wire do they expect people to use for this? Yeah, I mean, am I using the wrong gauge wire? I'm using six gauge wire. There's no way that this six gauge wire fits in here. I mean, I basically need something that's this size. Yeah, that's not even gonna, that's not even gonna fit. I mean, will this thing fit? I mean, this is for... Yeah, I need something this... This wide, but something for six gauge wire. Because this is for 10 to 12 gauge wire. I don't know. I'm going to have to figure something out, I guess. Okay. Well, I just got back from Home Depot. And what I have to do, I need to somehow get these. Here's what I bought. They are six gauge ring terminals. And I need to get these. So they are the size of this. So from that to this. All right, well, let's see if this works. All right, well, went in. Actually, that's in there good, Jesus. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and crimp the other two wires and um, get it all set up. All right. Let's see what we got here. We got our black on red, white on black, green on yellow. Okay, so everything is tight. Go ahead and unplug this. Put this cover on. I'm gonna go ahead and get some safety glasses just because if I turn this on and something goes bad, I don't want it blowing up in my face, my eyes. Hopefully this thing doesn't start smoking everywhere. But what I'm gonna do, it's uh what I also I, I switched out I switched out the uh, that 30 amp double pole. I switched it out because I have single pole 20 amp breakers so I went ahead and switched it out with that because that will still give me you know, over 2000 watts of electricity so um, just to make sure it works and everything I'm going to work with that for now and then I'll replace it with a 30 amp. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this thing on. We should get 60 
60 uh, volts from the neutral to the ground. And then when I switch this, and we should get zero from the ground to the, to the hot when this is turned off. And then when I switch this on, we should get 60 from the hot on both sides. We should get 60 to the ground and we should get 120 from the hot to the neutral. So let's see if that all works out. Okay, turning on the inverter now. Okay, that turned on. Let's get our multimeter. All right, you should be able to see the multimeter. So first we're gonna test neutral to ground and that should give us 60 volts. There you go, see that? 60 volts right there. And then hot to ground, this should give us zero. Yeah, nothing. Like two, two volts, that's nothing. So let's go ahead and switch this breaker. All right, and now from ground, from ground to hot, Okay, that's giving us 60. And that is giving us 60. So from ground to hot, we get 60. From ground to neutral, we get 60. So from neutral to hot, we should get 120. One twenty two. And from this side, one twenty two. 122, 122, so everything, everything works. One thing I don't like, I don't like the fact that, but the whole, the, I can't turn off the whole box just by switching this switch because I still have 60 volts on the net, on the uh, neutral to be 100% safe. I will always have to turn off the inverter when I'm working inside of this box. I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. I had a lot of issues with it, but I hope that someone learns something from it. And uh, if, if you did like this video, please press that like button. Um, and, uh, and please, again, leave, some, leave a comment in the comment section if uh, you have any questions about what I did or if you... Uh, if you realize that I've done something completely wrong, I would love to know that. That way, I'm not, uh, I'm not endangering myself with this thing. And if you like this channel, please subscribe. Uh, it it definitely helps out. So thank you very much, and have a good night.